Book 64, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, published in 2000, written by J.K. Rowling. This is number four in the series. It's clear that by the size of this book that Harry Potter has become increasingly popular. Uh, the focus of the book isn't just upon, upon the UK, but in terms of what's happening globally from the perspective of uh, this magical world that uh, J.K. Rowling's put together. Uh, the plot involves uh, Harry's attempts to stay alive in the uh, midst of the uh, Tri-Wizard um, competition which is going on. His name has been uh, submitted uh, unbeknown to him and uh, he finds himself facing Voldemort and the question is will he stay alive? We shall see. Uh, various characters uh, include a new character called Rita Skeeter, who is a reporter uh, from the Daily Prophet and has um, the unattractive qualities you often expect from a representative of the press. Um, Dobby uh, emerges again and uh, as a house elf who has now been liberated and is very loyal towards uh, Harry and uh, Dumbledore, the wise headmaster, is there to support him, as well as Sirius Black, his uh, stepfather, or so should I say, to say his uh, godfather. Um, what's interesting about this uh, book is how it just brings in some interesting themes, which are more on the sort of social side, particularly to do with slavery, uh, where he sort of focuses upon house elves and the slavery that uh, some wizards experience as well, and. Uh, uh, as an issue not just to concerning the, the world of Harry Potter, but our own world as well. Also this whole idea that um, we are connected together and we can't do things on our own. And it's all about team, together each achieves more. And also what we've got here is Harry Potter emerging as an adolescent, uh, dealing with such issues as being honest, uh, his uh, self-image and um, a romance coming onto the scene. In conclusion, uh, this is, I think, becoming much more than a children's novel and uh, you can see it's becoming attractive much more to the older reader and there's a social dimension to it as well. I quite enjoyed it. It was a hard work, over 600 pages, but um, well worth the read. Thank you.